Hello, Year 5. I hope that you're, you're well and enjoyed your school holidays. Um, welcome back to Term 2. I thought today that we would do an artwork inspired by the novel that you are about to start reading, which is Shakespeare's The Tempest. Now, here is a copy of one of the artworks that I created earlier. So the first scene, I don't want to ruin the story for you, but the first scene of The Tempest is, um, is a really stormy scene where a ship is in, in, in water and I won't tell you what happened to the ship, but that's the scene that we're trying to create here. Now, there's a really long list of things that you're going to need today in order to complete your artwork. So throughout this whole video and all the videos that I post, I want everybody to realise that you are able to pause the video as we go along. I actually often pause the video myself when I'm doing something that might take a while because, you know, I don't want you watching me do something that takes ages. So don't feel like you've got to keep up with me and, and finish it in, this, in the same time frame as the video. Make sure you're pausing and allowing yourself to do a good job at every part of the, at every step. So I need everybody to listen really carefully to what we need today. The first thing I need you to do is to tear out three pages from your art diary and cut off the holes that are running down the side. So three pieces of paper from your art diary. You will also need some water and a paintbrush, a paper towel or a tissue, your watercolour paints that I'm hoping you picked up from your kit at school, a piece of aluminium foil scrunched up lightly, a fork, a pencil, glue, a pair of scissors and one last thing that you might not have today and that's fine you can just keep your eye out for when you run out maybe this week when your mum or dad run out of paper towel if you could get a the roll that's inside a paper towel I don't want you using toilet paper rolls for obvious reasons so if you don't have one of those today that's fine you can add that missing part of your project later on in the week. So make sure you pause your video now to go and get all of those items so that you're ready to go, ready to get started with everything that you need within an arm's reach. So today we're going to be doing three, we're going to be doing three different layers and then our final artwork is actually a collage. We're going to be sticking all the pieces together so we have to work on each different element and we're going to start on the background first. Now our background is a really stormy sky, a really dark scene. So we're going to be using our black and our white using lots of different greys and a little bit of black in there. And we only need to fill up half of our page because the bottom half of our page is going to be filled with waves. Now, when we're using watercolour, you'll see I'm using a lot of water and a lot of paint so that I can get a lot of colour on my page. And I'm going to be painting quite roughly so that I get that effect, that appearance of a really stormy sky. And you can see I've just used a bit more black there. I've got three different shades of grey happening now. I'm just adding some black into my white. And then get some more water onto your brush and really swirl it around. Get your aluminium foil and just tap away at your background 
and that's going to add a nice texture and look like it's really stormy sky. Now that's it. That's our background. So I'm going to put this somewhere. If it's a sunny day for you, you might want to put it outside so that it dries quickly, but it really doesn't take too long for um, watercolour on this paper to dry. So I'm just going to put it to the back here so that I can start on my next layer. My next layer is going to be the, the paper that I'm going to use to make my, my ship. Now you can see there I've just switched my my paper orientation over to landscape and the first we're just making um, we're making the paper before we make the boat so the first thing you need to do is once again get your watercolor paints lots of water and lots of color there and you're going to paint your entire background yellow first And I'm going to pause the video in a moment because it can take a while to fill a page with just one colour and a lot of it. And I suggest that you do the same so that you get the whole page painted yellow. So let's pause the video together. Just like that, I'm finishing up my yellow background there. And because it's quite a bright yellow and we're doing quite a dark theme, what I am going to do once I've finished there is I'm just going to add a little bit of black while it's still wet and try and get a little bit of black through that yellow so that it's not so bright and it doesn't matter how messy it is. And then our next layer is going to be the mustard colour. That's below our yellow there. Again, we're just going to go through like we did with the black there. And then you're going to get your a fork while it's still quite wet. I'm just going to see if you can add a few lines in there just to roughen it up a little bit. And again, get your aluminium foil. And then finally, some more black. And for this one here, I'm doing more up and down strokes. So just a really messy uh, yellow, orange, it almost sends a bit of a looks a little bit more brown and we're going to be using this later on to make a make a boat so again we need to put this one to the side so that it can dry and if I were you again I would put it in the sun somewhere so that it dries quickly if not it'll dry soon enough you just have to pause your video and be a little bit more patient and finally the last Part of our artwork, the last layer is going to be the ocean. So we're going to be using a combination of the blues and greens. So the background of my ocean is going to be that light blue colour. So I'm going to paint the whole background. I keep saying it, but with a lot of water and a lot of paint. And I'll pause my video in a moment and you should do the same just so you can paint that whole background blue, light blue. Right, so you can see there that I've finished my first layer. Make sure it's nice and nice and thick. And then you're going to be using the darker blue to go over the top of this. 
in a circular motion, nice and rough. Turn it around. I'm using lots of water and lots of paint still. And then we're going to add the green color that's next to the black there. Not as much as the blue, but just so we get a little bit of a turquoise color running through there. So we're getting all the different, more realistic colors of the ocean. And I'm doing my brush in circular motions because the ocean in that particular scene is very rough and swirling around as you can imagine. And then you're going to get your fork and do the same thing. If your paper is dried too much, you can always just add a little bit more watercolour or water so that you can do this scratching technique. It doesn't have to be all circular, it can be a little bit more random as well, a few scratches. And then again, just get your aluminium foil. away a little bit. Now you can see that the sides of mine I've kind of um, missed putting some colour in there so I'm just going to go through and make sure that my colour does reach the sides. And if you wanted to darken it up a little bit you could also add a little bit of black in there but I'm just going to leave it as it is now. Okay, so I've finished my three layers. So I'm going to leave this one to the side and we're going to start putting together our artwork now. So we need to have the sky ready to go and my sky is pretty much dry now, which is great, but I actually want the blue paper to be a little bit wet because we're about to rip it into what looks like the shape of some waves. So the first piece, and just watch carefully, something on the back of that. Just gonna rip up and down. Up and down. And you end up with a little bit of paper like this and you can see because the paper is wet it's ripped down into the lasting the bit that you're leaving and those white pieces are going to look like the tips of the tips of waves so it's going to look like the frothy part of a wave. So now what I need you to do is just use a glue stick and really carefully without ripping your piece of paper because remember it's still a little bit wet. Put some glue on the back and we're going to turn it upside down so that you've got the white, sorry, the, the straight line facing down and the rough waves at the top. Then you'll rip another sheet of paper but in a different Try not to make any exactly the same way. And we want our white cap to come up the top here. So we need to put some more glue on this piece. And we 
it the next time. Now for this gluing part, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. You can see that in between our second and third layer, we're going to be putting our ship in behind this wave. So we've got our, our piece of ocean here, but what I would like you to do is to put some glue directly onto the artwork rather than on the piece itself so that on that particular piece you'll be able to that will be loose and you'll be able to stick your ship in behind this wave here and then finally the last piece that we do you're going to be actually tearing that off and you'll probably be throwing that piece away and the bottom piece will become the last piece down the bottom there. So I'll add a bit of glue to that. So I stuck that piece on the bottom and I'm glad that this happened because I'm sure um, this will happen to quite a few of you as well. You can see just here that my waves haven't quite come up as high as I as I needed to. And now I've got this blank white spot here. If that does happen to you, you should have a little bit left. So what you can do is just tear off a little bit of paper and you should be able to just peel it back whilst it's still wet and just put an extra piece in there. And in fact, if you did want to put any extra pieces anywhere to make it look more rough, you can do that with your spare bit of paper, but I'm going to keep moving on. So you can see now we've created that, um, that appearance of a rough ocean, stormy sky, a really chaotic night at sea. So now I'm just going to pop that piece to the back here and we're going to start working on our ship. Now I'm hoping that your ship piece of paper is quite dry now and what we're going to do is we're actually going to be working from the back of this piece of paper and we're going to be drawing the base of a really basic, a very very basic ship. Now when we painted our when we painted this bit of paper, we had the orientation landscape, but we're bringing it back to portrait for this. And if you want to pause the video and research some old fashioned ships, um, please do so. And you can do this ship however you want, whatever shape you would like, you can experiment with it. But I'm just going to keep mine really, really simple. And I'm going to sketch my ship down the bottom because we need to include our ship and tall masts. So if we were to draw the ship halfway up the page, we wouldn't have enough to do those nice long strips afterwards. So what I might do is actually use the bottom of my page as the base because it's a nice neat line. And I'm gonna come up the side here. And then I'm just gonna come down slightly different shape to the one that I used the first time. I'll just hold that a little bit closer because I know it can be hard to see. Very, very, very simple base of the shape there. Actually, I think I might make this bit here a bit wider so I might just bring the whole ship up a little bit. There we go. And then you'll need to cut that out. Okay, so I'll pause that video and cut out my ship. Okay, so now that you've cut out the base of your ship, now's the time that we're going to slip it in behind that wave that we hopefully left a little bit loose. 
We'll bring our background back here. And before you glue it into place, just try and think about, you know, the ship would probably be going up and down in the ocean. So think about angling your ship in some way. I think I might stick with something, something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that on now. So there you go, you can see that I put my ship on a bit of an angle there. And now with the leftover paper that you've got from your background here, where there's the most contrasting colour, I just need you to cut approximately three long, thin pieces of paper, and these are going to be your masks. And I'm trying to choose the pieces that have got the most black and brown so that I get some interesting colours in my image. Okay, so I've cut four just in case I need a spare. Now, these bits are obviously going to be far too long. Um, so you're going to be sticking these behind the boat and you probably want them coming up to about two centimetres below the top of the page. So once you've cut one, you can probably use that one as a bit of a guide to cut your other three. Okay, so I'll just put them all together there. Use that one as a guide. And you'll be sticking three of those masks and just think about you know, because the ship is probably starting to experience quite a bit of um, damage from the storm, you might want to even have some of your masts at an angle, like as if they're giving way under the pressure of the storm and falling in on each other. So I'm going to pause my video and play around. You can see that this one here, I've got one going over to the right here. This one definitely looks like it falling in on that middle one. So just play around with it for a little bit, decide where you want your mask to sit and then stick those in place. Okay, so I've stuck mine. One going to the left, one going straight up and then this one here looking as though it's kind of coming crashing down. Now if you have any little bits and pieces that are still sticking up, just get your glue and you can secure those pieces down a little bit better now. You don't want your artwork falling apart. And we're about to start adding, adding our toilet rolls. So what I would do if I was you, I would just squish it down a little bit so that you get a cutting line across each side, but you don't want to lose that rounded effect, so don't squish it too hard. And then you just get your scissors and you're basically cutting your top, your kitchen roll in half. So that we've got two separate pieces like this. Now the sizing is entirely up to you. When I did this one here, I um, used them, they were quite similar sizes but some of you might decide to do quite a long one and then two smaller ones. And the way I'm going to place them is I'm going to have the top one, the middle one, with, I'm going to place that one at the top and then two smaller ones on those masks there. So cut those out first and get them the, the size that you would like. I think I'm going to stick mine like this, like that, like that. So the middle one up high and the other two down low. Now, this part can be really tricky trying to stick these down because your glue stick just simply won't work. So if you have another another glue at home, um, please ask mum or dad if there's anything that they can think of that they might be able to use 
I have a hot glue gun, so I'm going to be using the hot glue gun, but you might be able to even use some sticky tape to stick yours down. Um, you can try and keep the sticky tape on the inside. But if you haven't got anything other than a glue stick, that's fine. What you can do when you return to school and we have our first art lesson, you can just bring your pieces into me and I can stick them down with hot glue for you. So some of you may not even have this toilet roll today, this um, paper towel roll, sorry. Uh, so don't worry if you can't 100% finish this project. You're better to make the effort to secure these down properly rather than try to do something that's not going to stand the test of time. I'm going to pause the video because this is quite fiddly. I'm just putting my hot glue gun. And this is something that you, if you are going to use hot glue, you should get mum or dad to help you just do this part here rather than using the hot glue yourself. But you've got to also work quite quickly so that it doesn't, doesn't dry and then hold it on for a bit and then I'll pause the video and do the other two. There we go so now that those are stuck in place we have completed our project. If you wanted to go back and add any extra detail with the paint if you've got some other things that can add some texture like you could add some oil pastel over the top of your boat and um, you can make it have the appearance of having some wood running through it, then by all means add as much detail as you like to this. I just wanted to assume that and do one that um, only used watercolour paints so that people weren't feeling like they didn't have all the materials at home because that can be really frustrating. So like I said, don't worry if you got to the point where you simply couldn't add those tissue paper rolls on bring those to school I've got some spares anyway I only ended up using half of mine and we can finish this off when we get to school so I hope that you enjoyed that activity and I hope that you also enjoy reading The Tempest because it's a, a wonderful story it's one of my favorites um, so thank you for joining me everyone have a lovely week and I will see you next week for some more art bye